It's the Benz Brunani woman is Baby boys, baby girls, you need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down, receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea we are go sip it yo Hard time scrolling for your long trots You might learn something you never know Collect you find, and she's one of a kind Don't say you mind, say you mind to my show, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Welcome to SYM, officially known as Say Your Mind, unofficially known as What What? That's right. Suck your mom. Yes. Um, I'm obviously Kalechi Okafor, and in the studio with me today, I have the amazing, the just unrivaled, the just a, just a quintessential baby boy from ends that you can't chat to because he just does all of the things. My guy, Kevin Morosky, up in the building. What an intro. <laughs> My G. <laughs> My G. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. So, um, my followers... Um, may not know a lot about what you do. If you've seen the strolling series, if that's even where you started, like Kevin's been out in these streets from the beginning. I remember when I first was out in these Twitter streets, if there was someone that was chatting sense, that was Kevin. Like I was in awe. And when he started following me, I was like, ah! Oh my God, that's my celeb. And he's out here because he's been, he's been consistent. And I think that in the past few weeks, we've learned of a lot of black men who aren't consistent in with anything. Men generally just not being consistent with, with what they said that they're about. But Kevin's been doing this before all of you man clocked that it needed to be done. So just about you. Thank you. Wow. How do you <laughs> even follow that? Um, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gas. <laughs> Happy. Um, yeah, no, I've been around for a bit. I'm sure I've made some mistakes, but I think the difference between me and these waste clots is <laughs> <laughs> at least I admit it. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Some of these men, like, are just, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I don't them. know. You know what it is? I think that they, like, they're just lost and they don't know what time it is, but it's cool because I've got a watch. <laughs> Um, I will remind you. I will remind you of the time. I think. I think I came across you after that whole like, um, when you wanted to do a class and the woman was trying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, just things like that pissed me off. Like I'm biased in it. Like anyone with the same, um, any woman in mm. particular with the same complexion as my mother, like. Mm. I've already got you. Like Yeah. Standard from the offset. You have to give me a reason to not have you. Yeah. But on off just off the bat, I've got you. Yeah, for sure. And it's just like you just needed you needed uh support. Yeah. And what I mean by that is listen, you're you're a strong, independent black woman, mm. goddess. Thank you. Queen. Gust. Not in that cheesy Jesse. Hotel. Um, yeah, <laughs> all of that. But generally, like, mm. your magic is there Thank to be you. seen. But even when we're out in these Twitter streets and these spaces, um, dissecting what's happened and all the rest of it in mm. a strong... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, even when you're telling the story, it's all ha, 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 key, yeah. key, key. It's like... You also need to hear that reassurance, like, yo, it wasn't you. It wasn't like, yes, and yeah. that's just what I wanted to do for you. I was yeah. like, no, you're completely right. Like, tell her about herself, tell mm. her this story, spread this story mm. far and wide. So, yeah, like, for me, like, you just came across as genuine, like, mm. I think real, recognize real. That's it, ultimately, for me. I think that, you know, and that, that was a few years ago. Um, that that happened and there has never been a time where I feel like you've missed a beat. If I ever notice a, a, a fuckery on the timeline, you're there like, nah, mad, <laughs> mad, mad, <laughs> mad. And it's not just for the timeline. This is another thing as well that I've, that really, really bothers me when people just care about the acclaim of it or the appearance of doing something. Because when it was time for the elections, even though we didn't get our way as Labour, you still organised something so we could encourage more young people to vote. Like you organised that and I was on the panel and it's one of the most brilliant things I've been to. Mm. Like, yes. because you got the right people in the room and we had a great discussion. Thank you. But you did that. You didn't just go, well, you know, I'm I'm a creative. I just, a creative doesn't mean, like, what I do 
doesn't really like that's not saving lives that's not helping women that's not mm. helping black women in mm. particular like and none of that matters and all like basically there was a po- point i was on twitter in these spaces yeah and i was very much more vocal mm. and it started to pick up and like people were interested and wanted me to do this that and the other and i realized this thing was happening where it was called cool to have like um the geeky black gay guy involved yeah. mm. like some kind of token thing mm-hmm. and i was like ha, ha, no 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 <laughs> Tried no, it. Yeah, Tried it. like I didn't I didn't survive all I survived just to be here to be on some kind of like some fucking tap dance when Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like it. tap dance for and you. And you you'll call me in as the only black person in the room because you feel like I'm ticking all of your boxes because of my my life and who I am. Yep. I've ticked all of your boxes, so that's it. You've covered diversity. Meantime, you don't want me to say what all the things I want to say because you'll start laughing loudly when I start making them points, when I start firing them shots. Yeah. You'll start laughing loudly to cover what I've just said. So what is the point of doing it? And it's it's about deciding to yourself, do I really just want to cater? to whiteness is that what i'm here to do yeah no, yeah for sure for sure and just realizing as well like i think we're getting there in terms of like do you remember that point in time where people talk about black twitter and it was almost like a bad thing, thing like yeah, it yeah. was like yeah oh they're so ratchet on black twitter yeah. and it's like cool but like have you noticed how many advertising campaigns and stuff seem to be born out of the conversations we're having in that space the but way how that is that for you like to 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 notice that being in this field people are just like um oh look at this funny thing i just found it's it's um it's very stressful Man. um it's tiring um and it's very trying mm. um you know what it is? There's a lot of people with different privileges, white privilege, mm. male privilege, yeah. all of these things. And I equate it to like, what is the currency that France had um, before they had euro? Francs. That's it, Frank. Yeah. Sorry. Your privilege currency isn't valid anymore. Yeah. So you're running out of spaces to right. spend them. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, People are praying, like, because yeah. they're like, shit, so we need this, we need that, we yeah. need that. And they're just grabbing at things. And, like, if only, like, I what I see things on Black Twitter and those spaces and those conversations and your platform yeah. and others. And it's like, oh my God, you guys, like, are killing it. Like, you're, even though you don't, I'm not saying you in particular, mm. but even though, like, some of you guys don't realise, sorry, mm-hmm. even some, even though you guys don't realise how much your worth and how much you're inspiring mm. like you're absolutely killing it you're the billion dollar companies of the future and now but then how does that how do we take that leap because i feel like this is where i found myself and even when i pulled the cards i know guys the structure slightly changed for today but we're going to get to the tarot and the bit but you know even when i pulled my cards this week last week it keeps saying to me like i feel that you're in a rut i feel that you're in a rut and it's a rut really in your spiritual self that's manifesting in the physical self in terms of business, you feel like, oh, I'm lacking, even though there's abundance there. But I feel like my frustration is that now, how am I going to that next level? I've talked on the podcast before about, oh, I want to get a manager. But I just feel like I can't keep giving you all of these threads. What am I getting? People have said, write a book, self-publish, all of, but how, how do you get the, I don't even want to say the clout because I hate that fucking word. I know what you mean. I think you just have to right we're not on level playing fields mm-hmm. yeah that's the that's the that's so loads yeah. of people come along and they're like I did this and then I did this and now I'm here and da 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 and those particular people in general it turns out like their dad owned this company yeah this that 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 and that forget those people for a minute mm. the other people that come along I think you only see a section of the success. Mm-hmm. So youths today will look at Beyonce and be like, oh my God, like it's only like four years ago Beyonce came into Never. my life. And she's, do you see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's all of that. I, I just think you have to go through what you're going through to get to where you're going. Yeah. I have this thing that I say where you can't make a pound without 100 pennies. Yes. And what I mean by that is like every single kind of moment, interaction, upset, setback, step forward, all of those things add up to where you are going that without misstepping every single one of those. 
any one of those, sorry, yeah. won't bring you to your destination. You cannot make, you don't have a pound. You have 99p. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a pound. Yeah. So for me, it's like... Collect your coins, literally. Collect your coins. Like, yeah. collect your coins, literally. Sometimes it feels strenuous and, and tiresome and you're not getting anywhere. You feel like you're in quicksand. Yeah. Um, but then that's when, like, holler, holler at me or, like, holler at people in your life who are just there to listen. Get it off your chest and then mm. you keep going. That's me, it. personally, I got to a particular level with, like, photography and all of that stuff. Mm. And... I didn't like what I was doing. I felt like um, I felt like I wasn't in control of what I was putting out. Yeah. Like the casting wasn't diverse. The stories made no sense. Mm. The stories weren't culturally sensitive, mm. realistic, or authentic. Mm. And I needed more power. And mm. I thought, rah, like, cool. I need to be higher up than what I am rather mm -hmm. than just a director and photographer. Mm -hmm. So I then was like cool i'm gonna go i'm gonna get into advertising mm. bearing in mind like i actually went to uni i went i went to it's a weird thing with me in uni i went to uni with my portfolio mm. i'm self-taught photographer mm -hmm. um went to uni with my portfolio they put me straight through to the second year whoa but I'm saying, whoa, like I haven't seen your fucking work. Your work is incredible. I remember even when I went on your Instagram page the first time, I was like, are you, are you joking? It's all are right. Are you, are you, no, don't try <laughs> it. It's all right. Nah, your work is incredible. And then when the, there was someone that kept trying to recreate the things that you were making, I was like, don't fucking try to gentrify Trust this shit me. and colonize this shit too. Because you can't even do it as well fully as the took thing it, that you're- Fully, I know, you're t she took the image. Yes, that one. She took the image, tried to like make a collage. Mm-hmm. And then had it all, had it up in a, um, did in she, a gallery. Did she add tattoos or take away? Or something. She, she did, did some, some madness, madness, yeah. Madness, but then I had my solicitor contact her in the gallery and then that was it. Good. Well, yeah. that's, yeah, and get legal up in this bitch because, because I would have slapped your face. Well, that's what yeah, would happen. Because if 96 Kevin showed up, that would have been a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> but your work is amazing and I, and aspects of me miss that. So that's why I enjoy like your Insta stories because those elements still live yeah. through that. I just think I just had to stop. I just wasn't, you're meant to, I think you're meant to pursue your passion in this life in it. You should follow whatever makes you happy and follow that path. And sometimes that's like a tough path, but you should just follow it. Mm. And I wasn't happy anymore. I felt like, like I said, it was like a bit of a token thing. Like he's cool and he's black that we've ticked our diversity box, put him in that box. Mm. And as I said, as I said before, like I'm not, fucking box shaped like how dare you? <laughs> i'm human shaped and yeah, mad exactly so i just i just stopped and mm. then um i i got into advertising um yeah i went to uni went through to the second year only could only i didn't even finish the first year because everybody was moving mad especially <laughs> the lecturers wow because they'll be because it's the insecurity because you're coming with with this talent and this understanding and they want to challenge you and as a black man as well how dare you be talented and sure of yourself it mad. was a mad thing it was very much like i've always shot stuff on um two for one cameras from boots because mm. that's all i could afford wow at that point when i first started mm. um i got coin now <laughs> Why? no um that's all i could afford so mm. when i went to uni i was like at that point i've been published in loads of different places anyway mm -hmm. so i was like i don't see why i would go and take a whole like uh student loan mm. and buy like a cat whatever yeah 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 it didn't make sense like like so I'd just be beefing about them be like are you gonna buy the camera didn't you get your student loan and i was like yeah i paid bills and shit duh I don't need to. Um, I was just beefing. I was like, I don't even know why I was here. And I was really disappointed in myself because actually the reason why I ended up going to uni at that point was because I felt like in order to be a photographer, I needed that piece of paper. No. And it's like, no, it's no. not. You can do or be whatever you want to yeah. be. So I left, did photography, did really well. Um, and by really well, just I'm measuring that on what I wanted to do mm -hmm, with it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not by anyone else's standards yeah. but then as i started to get bigger jobs and bigger money i wasn't in charge of the ideas so mm. um i started to run into certain things i guess people run into um in music and other areas mm. where it's like the casting and i'm like cool 
like we should have um, a dark skinned girl as well mm. as a light skinned yeah. girl as well as this and it's like oh no we just want the light skinned girl with the da 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 oh, so no, all no, of that no, stuff no but colorism doesn't exist no, did you not get the no, memo sorry, sorry I forgot yeah I forget I said that. <laughs> you know so <laughs> I just got frustrated I left and also like I'm a road you in it so mm. when like invoices were late like I've never ever been about that polite email life. No. I've just turned up to offices and asked where my money is. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> like I, I'm not. I'm dead serious. And I know, and that's why <laughs> I'm dead serious. It, it enriches my soul. Like dead serious. And then like you'd have certain record labels and and companies wanting to blacklist me. But the problem with that was I'd already like the the people that I've been working with, I've been working with them before they got signed mm -hmm, on because mm -hmm. I like, I was like, oh, I believe in you. I'm just going to rock with you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a lot of stuff that I did was actually in the early days was just for free because I was like, I support what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. So then when it came to it now, oh, we don't want to use him. Like we don't like him. Why? Because we didn't pay him on time and he got angry. The fuck? So, well, maybe pay him on time. Then. Right? I mean, it's obvious. The solution is there in the problem. So they try to like blacklist me in certain ways, but then, my, oh, sorry. Don't, don't worry, don't mic. worry, don't worry. Um, then my mates were like, no, or we're not doing it at all. So they, I'd have to be involved. But all of that just got mad as well because I'm not, all of that like people would pertain as like beef. And it's like, yeah, no, I've been in real beef because mm. I've been stabbed and shot at. So what you're doing right now isn't beef. It's, it's not beef. It's hilarious. It's what did Monique tell us? Like, keep that shit in the playground. Because you're not, you're not about it. You're not you're about not it. You're not about it. Because like me personally, like, yeah, I'm a mirror in it. Like, if you show me love, like all the love back. But if you want to see devil, then cool. And that's, I, and I think that that's why we vibe so well, because there's just that... It just innate respect for each other because like you said real recognize real but also crazy recognizes crazy yeah, so sure. it's just like know yourself sure. and, and the same things you wouldn't want done to you you don't do it to other people no. and that's it and i but then another thing that gets me is that okay so you're a gay black man do you get frustrated with this kind of image that a lot of useless men seem to have heterosexual that's allegedly claim to have of black because a lot of them they're lying but they claim to have this they have this vision of black or, or just homosexual men or gay men and they go oh yeah you know i could i could do this to him i'll beat him up this and that because i'm like i know a lot of guys that you could not try that with kevin is definitely one of them like this is how you guys get fucked up because you go and try your nonsense with the wrong people <sighs> <laughs> I'm trying to think about how much I can say without getting myself stuck with the feds. Uh, <laughs> one time I was in court and the defense, uh, the lawyer for the other people tried to hit their argument was that I was the head of the gay black mafia. <laughs> I'm going to leave that. <laughs> I'm going to leave that story there for you so you can understand. Yeah, I think. I don't know, man, like originally from like Croydon. Mm. worked in a, like, a particular fast food chain in Croydon and people tried that stuff all the time and would genuinely, when I would then tell them about themselves, their mothers and families Good. in front of everybody, they mm. would then meet me, try to wait for me after work oh, to fight. Oh, catch me outside, yeah, yeah, how yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah. And they did mm. and and that didn't go too well for them. They never aspired it. But God gave it to them. Mm. That's it. Because mm. you're you're too fast, and that's and that's a major frustration of mine. As someone who like grew up like it's one, especially once it hit college, them them Brit school days, I was steady just out with gay friends all of the time, all of the time, and I think it shaped a lot of my views of the world. And but that didn't mean that I didn't have some inherent or a lot of inherent um homophobia and you think that oh just because i hang around with um gay guys th that's fine i'm fine no i had i was problematic as fuck but had i not had those experiences and understood that nah 
nah, like these men are really out here. They are really, really out here. And even the ones that they are, I shouldn't have to show aggression for you to respect my fucking life. That's the thing. It's just toxic masculinity. Yes. To be honest, like you've got certain men out there that are like actually too scared to wipe their bottoms properly for fear of like being, being gay. gay. Yeah. That's nonsense. Right. So you're um, crusty but out in these streets. And just stinking up the place. I think that I don't often get it. I think I probably give off an energy of just not to try me. Yeah, I'm that's saying, the thing. Right, it's but very strong. In terms for other people that don't necessarily move with the energy that I have or give out, um, I just think it's toxic masculinity. I also yeah. think it's a thing within our communities where we've been forced to not explore duality. Yes. So what I mean by that is there is absolutely no way like that i can be i can be gay but also be whatever a man's man is yeah. or um even if you just take it down to like a base level of like being bisexual mm. like you can't be two things at once you have to be this one thing mm -hmm. that is a road man that yeah. does that 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 and the mm. other and this is how you behave mm. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. remember growing up and like being fully into Garage and DJ EZ, mm. but also like loving a bit of Skunk and Nancy. Yeah. Coldplay even when it, like stuff like that. And people yeah. were just confused. I was like, I don't understand. You Why can I like have to like one thing? One. Yeah, I, I like everything. You like more and that was than me one. in secondary school. I liked a lot of things. Oh, you're white then. No, I just like more, more than, than one, one thing. thing. Like, you know, the way that you used to go to Woolworths and pick, pick a mix? Right. With the choices. Right. Did you just eat the Coca-Cola bottles? Right. Or the milk bottles? Right. Or did you not mix it up? Right. You dickhead. It's like, it's whatever you want to be. And I think once you kind of get to the space of like, do you know what? It's not that fucking deep. I can make mistakes. I can move on. Yeah. Uh, I can try this. Didn't like that. Cool. Like you had an, ex it's just, it's not that deep. But a lot of people are stuck in their own personal prisons, yes. which then makes them move mad and yeah. call things out that don't even make sense. Like I was saying to you earlier, like, yeah. oh, you're a Bay man. I'm like, yeah, I do like Bay. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> Hairy ones. <laughs> Like, exactly. what is like, your you're point? You're not offending me by stating the obvious. I just you don't. Fool. I just don't. Like, those things. You're not going to, like, it doesn't mean anything to me. Mm. Like, those things aren't going to, like, yeah, for sure, when I was younger, I felt like I had to back everything. Yeah. Uh, I think in my, where I am now, I still get a bit annoyed of, I still get annoyed about the things that I'm constantly teaching myself to unlearn. Yeah. So I don't have to respond. I don't yeah. have to, like put my hands on people mm. uh, well I'm still struggling with that I don't seem to understand that very that, much yeah, that that's is, why that I elbowed the woman in her back because week. I blatantly <laughs> I blatantly boxed a man on the tube on the way here <laughs> boxed him because he got confused when like how can you come to the tube yeah and I'm already at the door and, and you with your whole chest <laughs> Tried to step in front of me. Wild. Okay, so then uh, I put my five fingers in his chest and moved him. That's it. And then he was wilding up and I just backhanded him yeah. because I was just like, it's hot. You're getting on my nerves. Behave yourself. Not every day do I want to be Mother Teresa. No. Like, it's hard. Yeah. I'm out here being Princess Diana all of the time and people don't even Diana. respect it. They don't even respect the fact that I'm out here just trying to be my, my gentle girl self. Yeah. Right. But so now, like, like I said last week, elbowed the woman in her in in her back because you don't know how to behave. Why are you flinging screaming. up your, your your blonde hair all up? I was Why? Screaming. Good for you. I Good was for you. Screaming. And and my friend who's dating uh, my my friend she dates um a white girl. She's black. Dates a white girl, and she says that they've been out together at a hair shop, for instance, and she's watched her notice that there's a black woman at the counter waiting to pay and this girl has stepped in front of the white um the black woman like is it just an inherent thing where you don't understand that wait for people what are you doing i don't know my my well my dude's not like if my dude was like that he wouldn't be my dude no that, yeah, and that that's a major run. thing and that's a major that thing i would drag you back and be like so do you not understand what you just did there I don't know. I just, it's just things have been a certain way for the longest time. I had this thing, right, where I'm walking down the street and I noticed that um, in particular, um, white ladies, older white ladies, yeah. um, 
will almost play chicken with me on the street. Yeah. Now, I'm tall and bigger than them. So mm. inherently, and I have manners because my mother should raise me right. Mm. So I almost instantly almost move. Yeah. But then sometimes I'm like, I don't know why I'm moving because you actually just veered into my path yep. of what I'm doing. Yep. So why am I moving? And then there's almost like a confusion of like, why haven't you... Why haven't you moved? Yeah. I get like, it a lot with white men. Like, you, uh, we're both walking in a straight line, but you're expecting that I should be the one to give up the space and move out of your way. We will walk into each other. But the thing is, I've been doing squats for the longest. My legs are strong, uh, fam. You will be the one to bounce back. No mace. Behave yourself. Yeah. It's that kind of nonsense. Um... It's weird. It's like, but I looked up and pers- I looked up. I can't remember the dates. I hate talking about these things because I like to be quite factual. Yeah. But there was a point in time, basically, when it was like, I think it was like illegal. Like you had to step off the pavement. Always, if always. Yeah. yeah. You had to step off the pavement. Yeah. if. And I do think. White people still expect that. Like they expect. They're, they're- yeah, or not. It's maybe not ex- like. I just think certain things are passed down regardless if they're ever spoken about or whatnot. And it's always, I find it with older, older but generations. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like it's in their bones because there was, a, even if it wasn't their generation, the generations before them, it was just the norm. And we're saying that things can be passed down intergenerationally. Mm-hmm. Um, intergenerationally. So you can expect that, yeah, like you don't know why you feel that I should have moved out of your way, but you just feel like I should have. And you're slightly confused when I haven't. Um, but every day is a chance to learn and I'm going to teach you today. You're going to learn that's what today. I'm saying. There's a lot of people it. who don't know what time it is. And as I said, I've got a watch. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I just think, yeah, that we're in interesting times. I think even, uh, I was talking to, I was talking about this to my, um, creative partner. Mm. Um, very like, Great guy, mm. great guy, white guy. I won't say his name because I don't want to embarrass him, mm. but he's great because he 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 was woke already and an ally already. Mm. We've been working together now three years. Um, sorry, in short, just to go back quickly, mm. what I did is I finished doing, I gave, I just stopped doing the photography stuff in the way that I was doing it. So I don't do personal projects. I just realized we didn't answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I went to, um, I got into advertising. I just yeah. took a position and like did like bits and bobs and hustled my way up and then got to the position that um, I'm in now. Mm. Um, yeah, met um, my creative writing partner mm. there. And it's interesting. He's a white guy. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Wouldn't. I think if we didn't work together anymore, then I would stop doing I just couldn't. Wow. Without, I wouldn't do it without him. That is my partner. Um, and he often says, he's like, oh my God, it's so exhausting watching you navigate these spaces. Oh. He's like, I don't even know if I'm exhausted watching, watching you, you do yeah. it. I don't know how you feel living it. Because he'll just see the difference in approach. Um and when we walk into rooms and stuff mm. like that, just say like he's become very privy to the tactics that certain people yeah, yeah. Um, display. Uh, yeah, it's 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 exhausting, very exhausting. Um, sorry, I feel like I've gone off. What no, 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 because that's 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 the whole point of it. That it is it is exhausting. There are a few people that see it and they understand that these are the things that we do need to do. They can see it. Yet the rest of them, man, they can't see it. No. And and that's why it's tiring. But, I um, think the only thing, I think the, I think I've put myself at comfort with it. It is tiring. Mm. Um, I, I'm constantly reading people, throwing shade, mm. teaching people and um, also bringing Bringing people together and supporting people within that industry. Definitely. So even where we are now, mm. excuse me, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely place. Mm. Lovely place. Um, but like one thing I did was like create like even just a Skype group within that place called Wakandans. Yeah. And literally, so when something a little bit like not off key, but just like, oh, that was a bit annoying. Mm. Everyone just like can talk about, about it, it yeah. and we're like, ha ha ha, we can like not yeah. move on, but we're like, cool, like, 
because without that, if you're just in those spaces by yourself, it's a pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker. Yeah. It's that imposter syndrome yeah. thing. It's maybe it was me. Maybe I over. Like you're yeah. trying to rationalize it for the other person yeah. how you did wrong. Yeah. Gaslighting yourself why being gaslighted yes imagine that right imagine that that's it so it's tough but i think i'm at peace with where i'm at now where we're at in that what i'm trying to do and what i've constantly tried to do actually come to think of it is leave the door open for someone else it's not about my glory yes. and it's not about my accolades and all the rest of it mm. it's about leveling the field to like when someone else comes through they've got a bit more energy to push it further yeah 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 because i think a lot of people get disappointed because they secretly want to be the only one the only one and famous yeah in terms of media yeah just in general yeah like i want this and i want to win this and i want to do that rare tear tear but it's like cool but they they don't say that out loud they mm-hmm. almost come on some like oh i'm just a saint i'm here helping yeah. people but they're not really about but that you're life. not and it's good to just be to to also make vocal your self-interest stop pretending all yeah the time. i'd rather you say like say this is what chest. i want say it with your chest because i can support that yeah i don't really care like yeah if you're like i want to be the biggest actress in the world actor in the world rare tear tear cool like how can i help you right but, but if you don't tell me you're always moving sly always moving sly not even sly but you it's just not genuine yeah, don't there's move no sly. point listen where i'm from people move in sly like that can get you killed don't right. do that right and do you know that. i get it along with with the whole twerk and pole dance thing people come on the vibe of oh i want to learn or i want to see what you're doing i want to pick your brain i've had one a lot actually oh i want to pick your brain i want to pick your brain next thing because I've told you the web, the app to use to create your posters, I've told you all of these things, you're doing all of these things and you're you're doing well, but now you now want to insist on coming to where I'm teaching my things to come and see how I teach you. So what, you're now going to carry that model? I, no, you need to pay me because now I need to license that shit because what you're doing is being disrespectful. And the yeah. thing is, now when you call it out, I thought she was a, a feminist. Why is she being mean to me? Because you're stealing from my, my, from my mouth. Yeah. And I don't think that you could ever do what I do, but it's the fact that you think you could that's pissing me off. Yeah. Yeah, it's never it's never ever about that. It's never ever like like only you can do what you can do and only I can do what I can do. Yep. You've all got your individual magic like, but if you're just trying to come along and like almost like cookie cutter like the situation and step on my neck to and, get yourself and, and like, as a springboard. There's re- come on now. Like you know like that like that is a yeah you're just asking to get boxed up like That's i don't it. even understand you're like, asking to get boxed up you're asking to get be cussed surprised. out because in this in this day and age where i can't lay my hands on you freely like i would like and i am aware for all of the like mm, violence is not not always the answer but sometimes if you ask the wrong question yeah but if you is, don't hear you must feel not right right so it is what it is, but I just noticed these things and I was thinking, how selfless do you expect me to continue being? At the end of the day, this is a business and now you're coming up here. What are you going to bring cards as well to come and advertise your classes? Because now you're mad and your entire fucking family's mad. But you know, it's these things that happen to me consistently. It's happened more than what, 10 times, different people doing it. Oh, I just want to come and see how you teach. And then next thing I'm seeing you teaching like me and then you'll say, oh, um, Kelechi, I don't know who that is. But of course you know who that is because you came to my class to come and learn from me. That's really wild. Yeah, I just, it's it's about, it's just about being like honest. Ask for the help that you want to ask for, but support. Uh, and even if like, just ask for the support like even if they take you aside and it's like you know what i really you've inspired me yeah i really want to do this this is what i was thinking yeah you can then say do you know what i feel like that's stepping on my toes in this way this way yeah, this way. yeah. let's try and find you your own lane which is what i've suggested to a few of them why don't you do this and just do it on these days and do your own thing here i've even suggested studios like do th- but nobody ever wants to turn around publicly and say wow can actually help me with all of these things instead it's just like oh he 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 yeah yeah, you don't like her. He, 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 he. It's, it's, and, but you still want to come to my classes and see what I'm doing and see if you can replicate it. 
you can replicate the physical things. You can't replicate the energy. You can't rec replicate the spiritual things. You cannot. So, and there's nothing that you could do that could possibly impact me. And But that doesn't mean that I should feel like I should help you all of the time. There are boundaries. There no, are boundaries sure. to these things. I think with any of us in the industry or whichever industries we find ourselves in, I want to help you. I want you to succeed. Like we need to succeed in order to find a level playing field. We we do all need to succeed. But when your success comes to at my detriment, then you're mad. Yeah. Because when it is coming at other people's detriment, that is meant to, that are meant to be in your community that you apparently support. And like, you're, that's, you're, it's not supportive. It's, it's not, not supportive. conducive to us moving forward. And by us, like that's inclusive of like, just everyone that's not Donald Trump. Yes. Like it's, that's not the way, that is not the way that uh, business is, is run. No. Um, I think there are good, clean, honest ways to run your business. This myth of it is cutthroat and it's this and it's that and it's da 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 and it's all of that. I think all of that um, comes from the same places as the tox toxic frail masculinity yeah, and yeah. and all of those things i think that you can be honest and i think you can try your best um yeah someone might come along and see what you've done and then put their take on it yeah their take on it and their spin on that like now you can't be mad at that because mm. they've then taken what's ever personal to them and put it into yeah. an idea and it's like cool because you were never going to do that you were anyway. You never going to do that, but do that and do it over there. Yeah. Not every day refer to what I'm doing. Do that and do it. I feel like nobody can rep nobody in this life can replicate your source. Your source is like your DNA. It's individual to you. People can be inspired by it, mm -hmm. but they can't come and take what you have. My issue always lies in the delusion that you could. Yeah. That's it. Like we said about Drake before we started recording, everybody just know your lane. Like, I support you. I like your songs. I like what you're doing. Cool. I mean, there are some problematic things as a black woman that I noticed. But still, all the, you're fairly decent in, in on the spectrum of all these rappers. You're decent. Don't make life harder for yourself by going to look for trouble where trouble was not looking for you. Yeah. I Yeah. Like like I said, I've, I've, I didn't initially get Drake. Yeah. And then I was like, that doesn't even, like, make sense. Like, he makes... He's great. He's yeah. great. You can't say that Drake isn't good. Like, let's the black face stuff aside for a second. Yeah. You can't say that Drake isn't good at what he does, that he doesn't make great songs that, like I said, like one liners for like the next two. I only love my bed and my mom. And I'm, <laughs> like stuff like that. Like, that's everyone's cool. WhatsApp status. Yeah. Right. But simmer. Like, not Sina, every, like, yeah. Naya, like, you're not, you're, you're sickle. Like, Relax. you can't come for everyone like no. you can't especially when we all know that you was a big fan of that particular person it's right like, but this and see that's the dynamic i'm talking about mm. you were a fan you were inspired by them it, to some respect it might not show up explicitly in the work that you do but you were ex inspired by what they were doing and suddenly now you want to come at them for what you're only going to get beaten down and that's ultimately my point because if someone's been at this and they live and breathe this the moment you try a thing you will get smacked down right. and then you will have to humble yourself it's just all of these this talk about like oh you know like that jay jay prince was like um yeah is it jay, prince? jay prince yeah yeah was like oh like pusher was disrespectful and it's like naji like he tried to talk about his fiance yeah like as soon as i heard that i was like you're an idiot like if you just <laughs> said like little bits here there and the ev everywhere yeah cool but as soon as you said the fiance thing, I was like, you're an idiot. He's going to eat you uh, live. Like, wow. Good for you. So when people are like, no, da, 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 da. It's like, you know what? Take that information. And as we said earlier, like tell Drake to listen to Michael yeah. and start with the man in the mirror. Yeah. Because you put yourself there in that position. Yeah. You with your whole chest. Yes. And light skin ways. Yes. Yes. Thought you were rough enough. Yeah. To come and talk to pressure like bad pressure, like bad. he was like a dickhead. Like, right. no, it's just never ever gonna happen. No, it was never ever going to happen. But like I said, whatever, it's like it is what it, it is. What it is. It, it, yeah, it's like I think it'd just be better if he was just like, don't come back, just take the L. It's cool. 
Do you know what I mean? Like you, you just let it go. Just let it go. Like, like you should not have done it. Just you, start talking about something else and be like, "Wow, the weather is so hot." Ooh, there's just wow. certain people you know. You know, yeah. Like certain people you know. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't try it with him. I can't try it with him. I can't chat bad to that person. Let me just know myself. But I thought we been knew that. Like I feel like a real G understands that there are there are limitations. And there are there are boundaries and there are there are there's levels. Like everyone's always saying all the time, there are levels to this shit. Yeah. Even me, as much as I like to run my mouth, as I was saying earlier, I know that there are certain people that I will not go and run my mouth to. I don't want that smoke. Yeah. I do not want it. I know in a previous episode I was like, oh, the most that they can do is kill me. But fam, literally, they can kill me before I receive my Oscar for a best actress in a leading role. I'm not ready. So let me just calm my life down. I just think like yeah like just calm down like just ca- just calm down there was no need for it like he was always going to do what he did do yeah. you know what i mean like i said i like i like drake i've seen the explanation behind the blackface it's a bit confusing very I think you were gassed even you then you tried it you did try it yeah um whatever but with that being said like cool do you know what i mean it's not a bigger thing but you should have left pusher alone the other thing about that sorry that i yeah. want to say is that what he responded to regards to Push's line on infrared and all the other bits. Mm. But if we just start from infrared, which was like, I think it's it was written by Nas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it came from Quinton. Like, there's no lies in that. So what are you angry why about? Why you why are you vexed? Like it's the truth. It's the truth. It's just like we said earlier. Like if someone says something that you have done or you are, why are you now vexed? It's it's not so much an insult as it is a statement that is true. I think that people think childishness and like childishness and spoil being spoiled all of these emotions that seem to sprinkle around when people are like kids yeah i think that like people think people get to a certain age and it's like they're not that anymore no, no. but you do have childish ass men running around yeah you do have spoiled grown ass women running around yeah. uh all of these things still do exist and yeah. but we there, I don't know, we don't spend enough time labelling that. And if you want to, then trying to help counteract that behaviour. Yeah. It's not everyone's job to counteract behaviour, obviously, but I just think those things kind of creep up sometimes and, like, no one names them and yeah. tries to examine, why is this person behaving like this? Oh, because you're spoiled. Mm, mm. And then how do we deal with that? But with Drake, I just, like, or just as a metaphor, I guess, for that whole situation is, like, cool like just like really understand and like know your worth know your worth and just know your your lane yeah that's it it's very very simple so now we're going to jump to the the no no we've been talking about this far i'm glad that you're here this amazing and so you guys should be very very glad that you're going to get a longer episode like because you can't have kevin here up in the place and not talk about these things um but yeah, first things first, thank you for everybody that told me that Winnie the Pooh does not live in Sherwood Forest, that that's Robin Hood. I knew that Sherwood Forest <gasps> was somewhere, so leave me alone. Um, I know now for sure that Winnie the Pooh, uh, Winnie the Pooh lives in 100 acre wood, right? I hope so. Otherwise you will just come and message me and cuss me out again. But um, I knew that he lived in one kind of wood, Sha. So that's that's sufficient. Um, Share Your Magnificence this week goes out to Lush. If you're listening to this and you don't live in London, I don't know if, I mean, if you don't live in England, I don't know if Lush is a brand that's global, but I think it is. There's in the US as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, Lush is my Share Your Magnificence because they put out that campaign about the police spies that married into a lot of, um, um, camp, you know, uh, what's it? activist groups and had children like they they were undercover and they basically had children with some of the people that they were spying on we there was that series with sophie okanedo and um my guy i've forgotten his name under it was called undercover and it was on bbc or itv one of them I think it's BBC. BBC, right? I, I think it was BBC because it didn't have any adverts. Yeah. Yeah. That was incredible. And I was looking forward to another season, but nothing happened. Um, that was really, really good to watch because they would take they went as far as to take the names of dead children and assume that identity to infiltrate these um groups. And I feel like they were also part of the re- uh, reason the Black Panther, uh, the Black Panthers in this country also ended up yeah falling yeah, falling to sure. pieces i think what's interesting about that whole situation with 
So just for clarity, like I've I work with Lush. I've worked with yeah. Lush. Um, uh, the last thing I did was some films called Wall to do with black hair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They were super duper dope. With Danielle. Yes. Yes. Um, they were super, super dope in terms of like, love to work with you. What do you want to do? I want to mm. make films about um, black hair journeys. Yeah. Cool. What do you need? Cool. Do you need to see edits at any point? Do you want to check? No. We like, this is your story. Uh, it's a black community story. Mm. Just go and make it. Um, whatever you like, we stand behind you. Like to the point where send them an edit. Yeah, like cool. Like if this is this is what you want to do, this yeah. is what you can do. Like we have absolutely, we're just here to support. Like mm. it's not about that at all. Um, they're like a really, really from a personal point of view, they're a really like lovely company, really um, supportive, welcoming, and all of those good things. And what I found interesting about this was that, A, loads of people are like, why would Lush be getting involved in this? And it's like, but they've been doing this stuff for like the longest time. Before you even realised that they were doing it. So right. shut your they've mouth. They've been doing it for the longest time. The other part of it that I found really interesting is I, I it's really... If there is a terror attack, I'm doing the finger yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's interesting what a terror attack is in this country. Mm. If there's a terror attack and they're talking about a, a Muslim person that mm. did it, all of a sudden, like, no, you lot can't tell the difference between one mad person and the actual Muslim community. Yes, yeah, yeah. But, but in this case, Lush are talking about specific. a couple of specific yes. select men. Yes, police officers. And yeah. a specific select section of the police force that yes. did this yeah and you lot are like no they're talking about all police they're anti-police yeah. and then even the new home secretary that they went to go and find out for Sadiq Najib Sajiz or whatever the fuck they call him mm. he's now like yeah um it was very heavy-handed it was very anti-police I was like you but are they lying though are they lying but these times they've did they've delayed the inquiry to 2023 okay. and because uh, what's her name Theresa May I think it was in 2000 and I want to say 30 or something where um she, they implemented well they said that this was going to happen and they said that we're going to do this inquiry into the spy police officers the sds or whatever they're called mm. um that they were going to do um um an inquiry into it they're dragging it out and dragging it out and you're dragging it out because you're hoping people will forget about it and also the judge that you've put in to do it he doesn't seem to care he's going at such a slow rate you're all, it's the same with um, the Stephen Lawrence thing, not the same, but similar in the fact that you institutionally, you don't care and you're not actually looking to resolve yeah. this and you're going to keep dragging it on for as long as possible and then be like, oh, sorry, we didn't find anything. Or you're going to find one scapegoat. Yeah. There was one scapegoat that's probably on his deathbed and be like this one, but the rest of them, no. But these times we've got whistleblowers that were like, look, I was there, I took part. It's rape. It is rape. You 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 got with these women. You had children with these women with another identity. You and, and uh, well, yes, yes. So even on that level, that's gross misconduct. But oh, it's anti police, and it burned me because, from a personal perspective, every time I speak out about something that matters to me, a bunch of white people, not always white people, will jump online and go and try to fuck up my reviews online and um, they've done it with my mind body like i know that myself and my staff we deliver five star service but because one little dickhead she was crying one time in a class you would have seen my thread about that yeah. i told her to not do something dangerous this bitch went after six months or whatever she forgot about the studio she came back and started leaving one star reviews that i made her cry and since then she's gone to another studio and she's progressed a lot more quickly because they don't care about your physical fitness they'll let you progress even though you're not ready so they so you could just do whatever the hell you like I care so I'm telling you it needs to be done this way yeah. one star review one star review so she's bringing down my ratings on Facebook they've done the same she did it on the um, booking on the, my scheduling app and so now these people were doing it to Lush giving Lush one star reviews one star reviews so I went and gave Lush a five star review because the, all the products I've ever bought from them have been fantastic I've had great service every time I've been there and I think that it's important for organisations and brands to stand for something you have to stand for something otherwise what you'll fall for everything right. so I think it's fantastic that they're doing this so let me go and come and see abuse that I started receiving 
on in the comments section. It's really funny. Have you ever bought anything? Do they even have anything for a blackie like you? Actually, they do. Yeah. They, they, they do. R&B is gorgeous for my hair. Let me tell you, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but fuck it though, like fuck it. I know for a fact that uh, when they started, there was, um, they started to do certain products mm. and um, I'm not going to say his name, but there's a guy that works there, a white guy, and mm. he was very much interested in in um, products for black people, yeah. black skin and different hair types. Um, and he really wanted to push them forward. Mm. And um, they were like, yeah, collectively, though, they then actively went and found like in black employees yes. within who they've already employed mm. to be involved in the process, as well as hiring yes. black people people to come on board yeah and he knows he had the know-how in terms of chemically yeah. and da, 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 yeah. da, but bring these people involved to be like is this what this that yeah. do you know what i mean like yeah. just put in those things in place yeah. to make the products right like me personally like i've been offered dumb amount of money to do certain things to certain people and because i don't fuck with the companies like or what they're about yeah. i just won't do it like money no. doesn't mean anything does to not. me it doesn't like and it didn't when i didn't have it it doesn't now that i do yeah. have it it i do believe like it's the root of all evil so yeah. therefore for me i can't center myself around money in no. that way it can't be my motivation um i'm trying to leave this world better than i left it i generally believe genuine genuinely yeah. believe that that's what that company is trying to do and is about yeah i just think it's interesting that um, I don't understand how it can be in the window. It says what it's all about, all of this thing. People were moving And you mad. literally just sidestepped the whole thing yeah, and was yeah. like, no police, yeah. no police. And, it's and just you like, were going into the stores, intimidating the staff. So now they've taken it down from 104 stores. They've taken the, 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 the poster down, the campaign down. And I have friends who are receiving messages from foolish friends, but friends who are also affiliated with Lush, receiving foolish messages like, oh, Look at what your the company that you love so much. Look at what they're doing. Who are you talking to? Mm. What are they even doing? Yeah, they're doing something that you could never do. They're speaking up about something that matters because so many of these special police forces have ruined movements that matter, even to the extent of trade unions. People just wanting fair and um, working conditions. You infiltr um, infiltrated those as well and tried to fuck that up as well. Env um, environmental campaigns you man try to fuck that up as well like literally they don't want you to succeed so when i say things like this on the podcast i'm not it's not hyperbole it's not me being inflammatory it's it's a fact mm. that they set up these things to make sure that we don't succeed that to make sure make sure that we don't mobilize and do something effective they will scatter us and scatter our brains so we can't even know which ways up which ways down and so that way we remain powerless we cannot continue to remain powerless like I just, I just refuse. So big up Lush, like big up what you're doing. I respect your products. If you ever want me to do like um, one kind of project in my pum pum shorts, doing pole dance, ah. how your products work well on pole, holler at me. Get this guy to concoct something so I look moisturized and I can still get around the pole effectively. I am here. They're yeah? good. They're good. They're like my personal experience is like they're good guys from an inside point of view. Outside mm. of that, even if I didn't know all of that, common sense yeah. would dictate they're talking about a particular thing. Yeah. Talk about the subject that they've raised, not not all police. Da 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 da. Right. Like, didn't say all. Not police. all men. Not all white people. Can you not see what you guys are doing? So if you can, if you if you're able, please go onto Lush's Facebook page and just give them um a five star review if you have a Facebook account. Just just help them out. Um because it's unfair that whenever we speak up about things that we're passionate about, motherfuckers will come and try to ruin our ratings and our reviews just because they want to keep us silent and to make us appear terrible. I changed the order slightly so i didn't do the tarot first um so i'm just going to take you into the tarot so this week's card um is the braider from the black angel cards this week uh, week's card is the braider um the energy so in the picture we've got um a woman braiding another woman's hair just really nice and colorful greens blues and yellows if you want to have a look and so what it says about the braider is this i think it will resonate with a few of you, the braider, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, here it is. 
your intimacy with life fills your heart. So on your waking path, you're connected, interrelated, intimate. On your sleeping path, you're separate, lonely, and isolated. So on the waking path, you bring together those who have felt apart, separated, alienated from all others. You reunite family, friends, and community. You're surrounded by people because of the light you bring to our being related to one and one another. You can help ease the feeling of being left out of community. Your attention to continuity and linkage keeps you in the making of kinship and community. Your ability to develop connections between people is crucial in the passing on of collective gifts, heritage and wisdom to future generations. You find yourself connected to all that is around you. As a result, you strive for connection and intimacy or to be close to others. It is important for you to have ties with people and projects before you feel that life is satisfying. This need makes you constantly in search of relationships, yet braiders sometimes find themselves feeling alone in the world when they are on the sleeping path. This aloneness can cause great pain. The desire for your companionship is uh, for companionship is so strong that your soul cries out to be loved and attended to. The danger of such a desire is that you may unconsciously choose relationships or connections that are shallow or empty. This only increases the loneliness you already feel. Selecting this card could be a signal to look at how you create your own isolation. Are your friendships heartfelt? Do you feel you are worthy of being in, an, in a relationship? What is your capacity to be intimate, open-hearted with others? Others. When do you tune up and when do you shut down? Your soul revival is best served by allowing yourself to be close to your heart and, tr and to trust yourself. Many of us genuinely feel that we are not lovable, so we work and work and work at bringing this intimacy in from outside. If you are working hard at intimacy in relationships while feeling alone, then you are manufacturing a false intimacy, a kind of closeness that depends on how hard you work to be the kind um, to be kind or on others' approval of you. Intimacy should not be hard work, but rather an experience of knowing who you are and seeing yourself as an expression of love. Often in your, desire for, in your desire for closeness, you are trying to fill an empty place in your heart. Filling that space with someone or something other than yourself leads to continued disappointments in your work of weaving souls. When you feel alone and separate from the world, it may be time to reflect on what expectations you have of people. You may want to consider laying aside your long list of needs and replace it with what you can provide for yourself and what you bring to a relationship. The depth of in intimacy in your life depends completely on having a deep knowing of who you are and not who you have become. Reveal yourself to yourself. So I feel like Drake, that one was for you. Oh. <laughs> and then the second card, so the Rider Waite Smith deck, the card that came out was the Queen of Wands. So we've had the Queen of Wands already before. Um, she's in her yellow robe with her staff That's and Beyonce. she's got... <laughs> yep, you know, with the sunflower and everything. And she's got a black cat. So that black cat signifies, um, you know, the very, uh, like, I guess, harsh energies of Venus. But what this is saying is that this didn't come out um, the right way up. This card didn't come out like this. It came out upside down. It came out in reverse. And whenever the card comes out in reverse, it's really highlighting something. And just like the braider was um, described there, if you're the braider that is speaking to, this is reminding you that you can't base your life on all the things that you've done for other people. People have become very dependent on you because you've made it out like that's all that matters. Like you are there solely to serve them. And you know that there are things that you want to do with your life that you're not doing because you think that, oh, well, I must stay here and do these things for other people. The fact of the matter is nobody is indispensable. God forbid something happens to you tomorrow, people will move on and they will be just fine. So why don't you start living the life that you need to live now for yourself? Like it says, like be yourself for yourself, like show up for yourself. Start looking at how you can nourish yourself because the fact of the matter is upon all these things that you've done for other people, it's not making you feel any better. You're not feeling any more enriched. You're not feeling any more worthy because you're hoping that by doing all of, the, all of these things for them, their appreciation will give you value validation but it will not it's fleeting and then you'll do something for the next person and the next person because you thrive off you're addicted to being validated through their appreciation of you but how about you appreciate yourself because that's something that no one can take away from you and my therapist um, and I were speaking about this the other day and um, when I had my session this week about the I 
even on the conscious level, if you are sure, if, if you are aware that you deserve love, it's very different to a subconscious level of actually feeling like you don't deserve it. You have to start doing the work to dig deep and really make yourself aware that you do actually deserve love. Otherwise, this is going to be a cycle. You would have lived your entire life doing things for other people because you've do, like almost hypnotized yourself into believing that, well, they need you and this is what defines you. You bringing people together holding people together. So this might, and this also applies to people who recently got engaged, recently got married or have been married for a while, or your mothers or your fathers, where you're believing that your identity solely rests on being something to somebody else. Who are you apart from being this, apart from being a mother or father or, or husband or wife? Who are you outside of that. You really need to figure it out. Otherwise, life will leave you behind because you can't justify the life that you've lived on this earth based on all the things that you've been to them without being anything to yourself. So that's just the message. There's an extended one later. What do you feel about? <laughs> I was just going to say, all of that is facts. And maybe something else to look out for that in, inside that, the mm. other side of that is that you can't then be a bit of airy.com when people are just treating you the way that you've taught them to treat you. Oh, that's another one. My mum has always said, you can't blame people for walking all over you when you were the one that went to go and lie down on the floor. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's, yeah, yeah. That's something that I had to learn as well, like, Listen, I'm as messed up as the next person. Mm. Um, like, your intro was correct. I am all those amazing things. <laughs> but... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Joke me, I'm back. Mm. Um, mm. No, but I, I, I had to learn. And uh, I do quite well at it now in mm. understanding that people are... People, people are going to do what you allow them to do what mm -hmm. you teach them to do mm. and um they're allowed to walk away from you if they want to walk away yes. from you and just because you're i'm loyal to a fault mm. loyal to a fault and in my early years <clears throat> i spent a lot of time being very mad at people who weren't as loyal as me yeah um mad i i'm that friend that somebody gives you a side eye i'm already I'm, boxing I'm there. there like I'm, there, I'm there like yeah. they didn't even like you haven't even clocked it but i yeah. clocked it um and then but then people couldn't replicate that same energy for me and yeah. i'd be like well that and it's like yo like a not everyone is about that life b not mm. everybody wants to travel with it inside that energy and do those things mm. um and, and like you know that's your choice and yeah. Where I'm at now, personally for me, which is a, a much more peaceful time, is mm. like, I still can do those things. I just don't expect it from anyone else. Yeah. Like, that's such a lighter weight to bear and walk around with. Yeah. Like, and not, it's cool if you don't want to do the same thing or you didn't do that. Mm. And then I monitor that and I'm like, cool, like, maybe I don't have to give you all of me in that way then because yeah, yeah. you don't deserve it. That yeah. doesn't mean that you're not worth it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just don't deserve that amount. Yes, yeah. Um. It's much more peaceful. I think to um, the 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 braiding card as yeah. well. Um, that spoke to me in a different way in terms of talking about patience. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn patience. I think it's very hard learning patience as a person of color, as a person who's part of several minority groups, mm. LGBTQ, mm. because. Um, you basically realize all of the fuckeries that is carrying on in society. You realize yeah. the way that you've been treated, and you want your, you want, you want your um, reparations. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. ASAP, Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Um, reclaiming my time. Reclaiming your time. So you want it back. Yeah. You want it back. You want it back. Um, and that can, that can like fuck up your momentum. The way that you're going, you're mm. getting frustrated, which actually rounds off back to what we were originally saying, like, what do you do when you're doing all of this stuff? Because yeah. I think part of that is, like, you realise you deserve everything. You deserve everything in the room. You yeah. should own everything in a room. Why isn't it... <laughs> why isn't it... Um, 
Why, yeah. yeah, like why isn't it coming now? Yeah. And you don't feel like you should be patient for that. But mm. like I said, like you can't make a pound without... 99, um, 100 pennies. Yeah, you can't yeah. make a pound without 100 pennies. And for me, one thing that I started to do, um, I learned how to bake and started baking. I love baking. Like just the patience of it. And yeah. like... And realizing that there is a process to yes. it. That's what really disciplines me. When you're when I'm baking, when I'm cooking, there is a process, bitch. Yeah. You can't now go and jump, jump, jump because you're not gonna get the same result that you were right. looking for. And it's a it's and a it's reflection a certain of life. Amount of this, yes, a certain yeah. Amount of that, because if you put is, too much of that, yeah, wow. Right. So pers- that's why it's like baking, oh you're so funny, like you're so cool, like you bake, and it's like it's therapy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's got nothing to do with being cute for the gram. It's, yeah. it's fucking therapy. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm constantly unlearning all of this, all of this shit, all yeah. of this darkness and anger that I don't actually have to walk around with 24-7. Mm. Mm. I've put it in a place where, yo, I can tap into that shit just like that if yeah. I need to. But I don't have to be in that mind state all the all time. The time. Because I can that's walk, trauma in itself. Yeah, yeah. I can walk away from all of that stuff. Yeah. There's things that I want... I'm getting mad because it's not right there. That is another childish, uh, like I was talking about being childish as yeah. an adult. I realized that was inside, with inside myself. I was like, right, you need to practice the art of patience. Yes, yeah. So for me, I don't even know how I came across it. I was just like, I'm going to start baking mm. because that shit is a science and you have to figure it all out. It yeah. has to be level. And it's helped calm me down. So like, so then with that, I have more patience for other people yeah. and... Yeah, no, good read. Wonderful. I don't know if that was helpful. To it was, no, anyone. they'll love it. Thank you, guys. I know that you'll appreciate that because I did, and it's it's a definite, it's a definite I'm point sure. to like really think like, of. No more gays on the show. <laughs> Get them off. No, no. I I no. People <laughs> that listen to the show are, are so sick. I'm so glad that I don't get like fucked up individuals that listen to this show like you know hateful hateful individuals yeah. that will come in your comment section in section and write a mad thing most most people who come in or that write random things and rude things they don't even listen they just wanted to come and say it because maybe they saw a thread that i wrote i Someone, do want you to stop answering these people. i don't think you answer them yeah. as much as you used to but I just want you to like retweet and at me and then let me handle it. I keep, I've said this to you for the longest. And you're like, thanks. And I'm like, no, it's no, not no. a thanks team. Like, <laughs> let me know while I go on in it. Like, I've got all the time in the world for that nonsense because like you just need to like protect. You should be out here protecting your baby girl energy, mm. doing your thing and going towards like going towards your goals. And like, if I can step in and that like goes for like, I do this for like all like the women in my life. Mm. Like, let me burden that because it's. I get, let me stop because I think what's the next. No, one? no, but th- I think that that's important because that's 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 what we're going into. So we talked about magnificence. That will show you magnificence. We spoke about lush, but we're going into so you mad. Well, no, yeah, so you mad was um, Serena Williams being asked by Bill Simon if she felt intimidated by Maria Sharapova's beauty. Um, he's been waiting 14 years to ask her this question ever since Donald Trump said that at, in 2004 that he loved um, Maria Sharapova's um, shoulders and she's so effortlessly beautiful. After she, I think she finished the match with Serena. And then this fool asked her 14 years later, oh, how did you feel about that? Are you intimidated by Maria Sharapova's 14 beauty? 14 years, it's so 2004. I'm not, so 2003 would have been 15 years ago yeah 15 years is the lot the last time that shapona hola whatever her name is <laughs> uh beat sorry 15, 15 years, years ago but well, you're calling her my rival and the reason i say that it links is because kevin did things like this get me vexed where i have to write something because i'm like how dare every day you man attack serena williams every time and then now you're surprised when she's married Alex so Hannah Wana or whatever you call him like you're surprised but every day you're showing her hate that's not to say that white people aren't showing her hate too but the thing is every time you talk about her not being beautiful she's a beast she's this she's that 14 years fam you waited 14 years to ask her if she was intimidated by Maria Sh- I don't see the bitch what she wrote her entire fucking autobiography about me so how am I the one who's intimidated by her? She doped for how many years? 10 years and she still could not match me. Are imagine, you mad? Imagine, imagine. My thing is like, if you just need to compare it to certain things in it. It's like, who was the, what, like, Latavia, one of the first Destiny's Child? Yeah. 
compare Ned to Beyonce. No. Like, why would you do that? No why? disrespect. No disrespect, no but shade, let's but, like, all be serious now. Let's be serious. Let's be realistic. There's just different levels. And like, she was like, why are you even, like, why is she even, like, imagine it was the other way around now. Like, imagine it was um, Serena that had doped and done all of this yeah. stuff. You lot would have run a fucking mockery with that woman's even name. Even when she was just taking decongestions because she had a very terrible cold and, you know, she gets the pulmonary thing yeah. in her lungs. She, you a, a reporter still opened her stupid lips to ask her oh can you explain why you needed a note for that time when you i took decongestions because i was very very ill like what are you what are you saying you're not even saying that my rival is my fucking sister venus you're saying my rival is some dumb bitch that nobody cares about no like cares she's about. not even uh, the way that everyone goes up on about her beauty i think it's a direct attack on serena because maria is not a spice like that she's a standard ting she's a standard blonde ting like there's nothing special about her i feel like her face sags her hair's dry like like i could go on like don't try it but in comparison to serena that's what you're really doing and i don't think she's more beautiful than serena so when i say in comparison but what i'm saying is that you keep wanting to be like oh she's so beautiful oh she's so beautiful unlike that beast what because the beast keeps beating her yeah yeah like it's not even like like it's not even a thing like serena is just like banging all day long all year long like she's beautiful she works and this is the thing like even though you can see like the amount of fucking effort yeah this woman has put in to her craft from day from day like effort yeah. and dedication and all of these things and it's still not good enough no still not good enough meanwhile on the opposite end of it everything is handed like private tennis coach here yeah. there there that yeah. and the other and it's like yeah like look how hard she's come across like no and this is the thing this is like going back like your currency is running out because nobody not, is believing no one's, no one's these lies anymore fall uh, fallacies and fairy tales like nobody is using it anymore you're a laughing stock on the internet it does like what are you talking about? Like, no one believes it anymore. White so, like, mediocrity is not enough anymore. You, it's, it's not a viable currency. Like you said, it's not... You can't cash that anymore. It's not working. And it stresses me out because I feel like I don't receive the kind of vitriol that, <coughs> that she receives on that level. But it's that kind of thing of... You don't want black women, dark-skinned black women, especially to breathe, to live, to be successful. Like, you've got something to say about them to remind them that you don't think they're attractive. Like, the guy that wrote to me, oh, or my brother said, oh, my sister deserves an apology because of this random guy that was on the grapevine. And he said, oh, she doesn't deserve an apology. She's so angry and she's foul. There's no such thing as an angry black woman for FYI. Right. So, and if, if a black woman happens to be angry, you catch her feeling that emotion, ask yourself why, why? But for me, it's another way that white men especially continue to erase um, and deny Serena Williams' success. Like she is the great, as far as I'm concerned, you can argue with your mother. She is the great, greatest sports person alive right now. You could come and tell me about Federer, um, Nadal, all of them people that I don't care. For me, in terms of consistency, in terms of the barriers that this girl, this woman has broken, you can't chat to me. For all of the things that has ha that she's had to endure, she is incredible. She had a baby, came back, she's ready to go again. In her time off from having a baby, did Maria win? No. Another black woman came along and beat you to remind you, to remind your ass. This is the thing. Like I just said, I just there's no such thing as angry black women like that trope of like just like oh just black women they're always angry and all of that it's what did you do what to get do? that reaction right. like start asking the right questions mm. start having open honest conversations stop mm. fucking throwing stones and hiding your hands oh. Oh. stop throwing stones and hiding your hands like you can't just poke someone poke someone poke someone poke someone this is just in response mm. to that dickhead that tried yeah. you and then when you're talking about how that makes you feel, then be like, oh, she's angry, da 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 right. da da Like, what are you, like, some kind of, like, fucking dog? Like, right. some kind of animal that just doesn't respond to pay? Like, you're a fucking human being. And even if you kick a dog, it'll run away or it'll attack right. you. it will attack you. So with that being, like... 
It's Stop a natural it. response for me to react to something that I you hate are that. doing. I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything about angry black women. I don't want to hear it. You lot have been riding around on the backs of black women for the longest fucking time. Mm. They've had enough. They're tired. Yeah. And rightfully so, they're talking up and being like, yeah, nah, get off. <laughs> nah. Nah, get off. This fun get fair off. ride is over. It's over. Right? The interesting thing about Serena for me as well is I think what they can't deal with, um, Serena and Venus, is that predominantly the way that tennis is set up is that's meant to be a white sport almost. And an upper class. Upper class. Yeah, yeah. White sport. Yeah. Um, it's very like... Leisurely. It's posh, yeah, it's yeah. Leisurely. Yeah. The grass is a certain amount. Yeah. Uh, tickets are this much. Yeah. Cream and strawberries. Yeah. The like it's all of... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's all of those things mm. and so now it's like it's almost like get in your place because now if the if serena and venus were like on basketball teams yes or any other sport where like black people's labor black athletes NFL, athlete, yeah. yeah it's all good yeah but you dare you to, dare to come into this, this space one. and it's like nah because they're fucking with race and class then uh-huh uh huh. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it's it's very it's very very interesting, and all the things that you pitted against them to, all the things that you pitted against black women, against all other marginalized people, yeah. are the things that galvanize them into the things they are now. Yeah, where your stupidness can <laughs> now not penetrate. Like I said, when I'm in rooms with these people, um, certain people. And they're trying me. Mm. I've been in I've been in rooms with people who have gone to private school, had everything handed to them. Mm-hmm. Um, someone tried to talk to them wicked in the room, and they damn near had a whole breakdown. Mm. Me, on the other hand, I mm. think it's hilarious because it's not that time I was in Croydon when I got stabbed. <laughs> it's not that time when I was in Peckham when I got shot at. Yeah. So all of this is hilarious to me. On the scale of one to you could definitely get here. Like this isn't on there. Like it's not it's, it's that not, at all. It's not that deep. Go and away. And so, although I would have preferred an existence without all of my trials and tribulations, mm. I am now here. And uh, what's that titanium song? I am titanium. Yeah, that dry, dry song. You but know? it's perfect for this moment. <laughs> <You said that>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, don't don't fuck with your song, but it's apt for this moment. Yeah, it's yeah. it's 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 they don't know what to do. Because they because they're so the, fragile. Yeah. You know what? You put these people in these boxes, almost like pressure cookers. Yeah. Right? You you're trying to cook them and you ha, look how we're torturing them and gaslighting them. Yeah. Then we break out of the boxes. Yep. Yeah. Explode. Um, they explode, mm. get out of the boxes. And now we've got all these superpowers where the things that you're doing don't really bother us. Mm-hmm. We know what we're doing. We're, we're coming together. We're mm. supporting it. Well, some of us are. Yeah. Um, and you don't know what to do because you're like, fuck, nothing is working. How do we slow these people down? But cool, you shouldn't have been bullies in the first place. You shouldn't have been. But um, straw of the week, I think you agree with this one because I know that you saw it and you were in sense like you were pissed when you saw it straw of the week goes out to curtis windsor i think is his surname um he was on a train with one of my friends jenna davis um she does great stuff with the labor party and he was calling her a monkey a black monkey he doesn't know her by the way he was sitting with a group of white people and he thought it would be hilarious to make them laugh and start calling jenna um so she wrote here so i'm on my way to warsaw and a black man called me a black wolf and a black slave he was with two white people who found it hilarious thank you to virgin train staff who intervened and are comforting me at the moment so straw of the week obviously goes to you like you can suck your mum in her entirety you fucking dickhead because nothing aggravates me more than when black men attack black women but more so when you do it to entertain white people that is when i'm just like wow you 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 fucked up the entire way you didn't even fuck up at 60 percent. you went and fucked up at 100 percent. like you were really trying to pass that class of coonery with flying colors you little prick I 
Like, have you forgotten, like, you, have you forgotten your first home? Right. Like, what, like, it, it, it like, I'm lost for words because I'm still so vexed about it. I'm vexed about it because it's like, have you forgotten your first home, where you came from? Right. You should be biased. I am biased against men because I came from my mother, yeah. a black woman. So anytime, like I said to you, mm -hmm. when I saw you and met you, same skin tone as my mum, my G. Yes. For life. Yeah. Anyone I meet, any woman that I meet, I'm like, cool. Like my mother, like my sisters, like yep. the things that my mother did like to protect me and raise me and all of those things with my brothers and two sisters, like fucking magic. Yeah. So therefore I cannot treat women any other way but with the respect that they deserve like but for me to then watch another black man who is the same tone as my mother or me or maybe mm. slightly darker and just for the entertainment of his white friends be like ha ha you what is it? Black wolf, black, black slave. Yeah, black wolf. I said even monkey. No, it was black wolf, black slave. Black wolf, and he was black throwing slave. chips at her. That was another thing because she was saying it in the recording. See, he was dashing chips at her. She was minding her fucking business and you're, you're attacking her. He was throwing chips at her going fucking black wolf, black slave. Throwing chips. She was just on the train. She also paid to be in first class and you are sent and you're doing this to her. Why? It doesn't make any sense. I don't really understand what? it. What I will say off the back of that, and I said it, I think, on my Insta, wherever yeah. it was, is that I don't... I have this thing here where um, I don't really... I don't engage with racists. Yeah. Any, don't get me wrong, I will box a racist. But in terms <laughs> of, like, yeah, chat shit, get banged. Yeah. But in terms of, like sitting down the racist and trying to make Reason, them seem, yeah. Yeah, no, I, don't, no. I don't do that because I, I feel... People naturally listen to people that look or sound like them. Yeah. That's not that's not only in terms of like um just racist. That's mm. like I remember one time I was doing a shoot in the middle of Brixton and um um this black guy who had been there obviously for the longest time in Brixton mm. was on some like um, gentrification tip like you guys didn't want to be here rare tear 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 mm. tear and I got where he was coming from mm. it did break my heart because I purposely had put the shoot there so I could shoot those people actually give their businesses yeah, yeah, shine yeah, yeah. and employ local businesses to be involved yeah yeah so that's what I do in advertising yeah. I make these ideas and I make all of these adverts but in my adverts you will always clock uh, the diversity through the whole thing. Yeah. You will, even like the Christmas ad that I just did, the little girl's room wasn't like pink and unicorns. Yeah. Like I made it like neutral. Like yeah. it was. Which wasn't I just, appreciate. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, so we'd, we'd done it there and like this guy's kicking off and he's just, he's just, he's just kicking off and rightfully so. I yeah. get it. And, um, one of the production managers tries to talk to him and he wasn't getting anywhere. Mm. And like, he just wasn't trying to hear it. Mm. And then I walked over and I was like, yo, big man, can I have a word? Mm. But as soon as I started talking to him, he knew that I knew the coup. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. he just listened and I was like, this is what we're doing. This is why I've done it here. This is what I'm trying to do. Mm. And he was like, right, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to fuck up your money. I was like, no, it's not that at mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And thank you mm -hmm. for taking a stand because I understand where you're coming oh, from. Of course. But I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do a thing here for all of us. All of us or like I'm trying to put money back into yeah, the community yeah. in other ways. But they've got it to spend. So I'm yeah. just trying to redirect where it's going. Otherwise, right. it's going to go elsewhere. Right. Okay. Um, and he was like, cool after that. So I just think people only listen to people that look and sound like them, right? Yeah. So with that being said, and even if that wasn't a fact for me, I don't think it's black women's responsibility to deal with that guy it's up to me yeah and other black men to take him aside talk beat him whatever <laughs> preferably the second one <laughs> and put him in his place it's not for do you know what i mean like it's not for black women to like teach black men yeah how to behave that doesn't make any sense what you were doing like There's why would you be doing that like how like 
I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. But you must have a deep hatred of yourself and and, of, and you want to play up to these white people as well. And what makes it worse is that when the British Transport Police got on the train... His blackness my guy, is what is... You are now black, right? Yeah, yeah. And, but then he was saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a multi-millionaire, I'm a footballer, so I'm um, I'm not a civilian. You're not in the army, you little bitch. Oh my God. You days. prick. I don't even like saying bitch anymore, but he... you little prick. You're not in the army. You're you, you, However rich you might claim to be, you're still a fucking civilian, you dickhead. But you know, it, the T is, he's not even a footballer. He does like promo stuff and marketing stuff that he's a standard guy so you lied about being a footballer because what was because you think that that's the only way that a black man gets a bligh in this country he's, listen says a lot he's he's cancelled um he it was interesting because they came along he thought he was rough for 2.5 seconds <laughs> and then that energy collapsed instantly wow and like then like he realized country. like yeah, yeah it's like he was like oh yeah no they're police they're 5-0 yeah um, and they regularly just choke out black people. So Standardly. let me circle. Um, your sidekicks had nothing to say about Suddenly it. Suddenly they were quiet. Silent. They were hiding. They were hiding their face. My girl just was looking to so get, wasn't about that get, life get dicked down. She was yeah. just like, "Oh God, I didn't sign up for this." Suddenly they're not supporting you. But isn't that interesting? If that was a microcosm, if that was an allegorical tale of what we are seeing in society, you man like to run your mouth and talk shit and abuse black women, but the white women that you're doing it to entertain or the white people that you're doing it to entertain don't even take you seriously like that. Like you're out here just looking crazy. Absolutely crazy. And all of it is, uh, all of it's connected for me, you know? All of it is connected like... Him doing that in front of those friends, them friends aren't really talking the truth when they go back to their, I'm speculating, yeah, like yeah. their families or whatever, whether they're Brexit voters or whatever. Yeah. But all of those things, like anyone, personally for me, anyone that's in my circle, like really needs to be aware of their privileges. Mm. What is the what, what, what is the truth? And spreading that truth and speaking up and having honest conversations mm. with people that look and sound like them so we can all get on the same page and move forward. Mm. But when you were doing things like that, when you were there trying to bust joke on on bust joke on black women that yeah. probably resemble your mother yeah. in front of white friends, you're just you're just helping that kind of conversation and yeah. and the treatment of black yeah. men and ignorance yeah. and all of these things in other minorities like we are all fucking connected yes so i might be sitting here now talking about i box this and da 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 yeah. it's cool like i know karma is going to deal with my <laughs> rascal but I'm going to take that on the chin. It's what it is. I did what I did and I said what I fucking and said. And whatever comes of that. It is what it is. It is what it is. I took that chance. I boxed the man earlier today. Yeah. I will get that back in one way <laughs> or another. But I'm going to, I did it with my whole chest and yeah. I'm going to take the consequences yeah. with my whole chest. We are all connected. We are all connected. That whole butterfly effect of like that ripple, ripples, yeah, yeah, yeah. ripple effects and all of that. So you're sitting there doing that and it's like, you know, it's, for sure, she should have put this up on social media and got talking all the rest yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah. But the other half, the other side to that is then there are dickheads at home watching that being like, ha, 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 ha. Like, look at this, da, 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 da. It's just like, it produces... Um, Entertainment for them. Yeah. But then my whole thing is that, but then look at what happened with... I'm not um, saying she shouldn't yeah, have posted, yeah, yeah, no, don't get that, me wrong. Yeah, but then my whole thing is that even look at when Shadira... Um, you know, the slum flower, she spoke about, um, I, although I still believe that that was the wrong platform really to have that discussion about black men and the things that happen, it still needs to be something that was, because we've just seen what's happened with Jenna and she's speaking about how she was treated when she didn't have her wig or whatever. And black men were on Twitter going, people don't speak about the fact that black men are killed and this happened and this happened. Black women and are this talking about those things all Black women are talking time. about those things all the time. But you want me to pay attention to your thread that's like, but black men go through all of these things you never talk about the good things black men do you just say that they're doing all of these bad things and i just thought wow so looks like i'm gonna have to unfollow a, a shit load of people because you're obviously missing the the nuance that's here in that we can talk about the great things and um that black men do and the way that they need to be protected and still say but you are fucking oppressing people within your own community people who are women right but no, apparently you can't have that kind of conversation. I, I just think that 
I yeah, I genuinely believe like I think it's time for those black men that are like da 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 is like to talk to your friends, talk to your family, and um it's time for black men to take responsibility of black men and those portrayals of black women and also hold society accountable. Yeah. Like it's I just don't think it's women I don't black women and women in general to do with trash men. It's not up for women to like sort you men out. It's for men to turn to other men and be like, yo, wagwan for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Because like, if you're if you're always saying not all men, not all men, that means that you're not the kind of man we're speaking about. So can you go and speak to the men? Yeah, I do listen, I like Yo, like for the most part, in terms of like my advertising story, there are things that I've been through and it's not even just to do with race. It's because I had to take a stand for fuck boy shit that people were doing. Yeah. Like, cool. I'm glad how Hollywood's getting exposed. But like, please remember that I said it here that the next space that's going to come is advertising. Because there's certain people walking around really believing that they are actually in an episode of Mad Men and wow. it's that time of the year. But I can't, my best friend's dad always told her and me um, that if you see someone doing something wrong to someone and you turn away, you're doing exactly the same thing they yeah, are. Yeah. So I can't sit there and watch men treat women in a certain way and not open my mouth. You as men cannot try and bond with me via misogyny and misogyny. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. going to happen. No. You can't come and start talking about Whores and bitches. Because I'm going to ask you, how's your mum? <laughs> there you go. I'm going to ask you, how's your mum? Like, how is your mum? Right. Cool. Um, oh, I love a lighty. Da, 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 da. Cool. Like, how is your grandmother? Right. Like, I will keep going back. Like, you're mad. Yeah. You're absolutely mad. And you have nobody to tell you. That's, you have nobody to tell you. Yeah. And I think... I've lost like, they weren't even friends. I was going to say I've lost loads of friends, but they weren't friends. I don't know. Nothing. But yeah. like, I've lost loads of people. Like you said, unfollow people and whatnot. Mm. Like, I'm not with the shits. Like, I have never forgotten my first home. I have yeah. never forgotten what my mum has done for me. Mm. All my life, black women have saved me. Mm. And until the death of me, like, I'm going to repay that debt. You cannot in front of me talk wicked to any woman, yeah. but especially a black woman, yeah. and not think that I will not either take off your head or organize <laughs> your head being taken off. Right. I am, it's just not going to happen. Either I'm going to do it or you're going to mysteriously. Someone's just going to walk up to you. And you're going to get jacked right. right at the right time. When you left work, it all there. seems like a coincidence. Cool. Wow. I will orchestrate that whole thing. That is not a promise. That, what did you say last week? It's not a promise. It's speculation <laughs> it's, or something. That's it. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not even a threat. No, I just realised people might be listening yeah. and realise, hold on a minute. Wait, no, it's not a threat. It's not a threat. To me, it's like a risk assessment. You do X, Y, Z, and this is what's going to happen. We mm -hmm. do risk assessments all the time in any new environment. I'm just telling you that this is what it is. But it's, it's just interesting to me because, like I said in my Insta stories, just like you said, I don't understand how you people are still able to follow the very same guys who are abusing women like myself and yourself daily. How do you rationalize still following them on all of these social media platforms or still having them in your life anyway? But you do. Every time someone sends me abuse, I click on their page and it's like, oh, 31 people that follow you also follow them. What the fuck? Why are 31 of you following them? Unfollow me then and fuck off. Yeah. Because all I can see is that they're saying these things and you are staying silent. So like you were taught, you by you staying sil silent, you're encouraging them to do that, or are you in their DMs telling them that that's not cool? Probably not, because you like the entertainment from um, from it. You like the labor from me, and you like the to see them attack me as well makes you feel better. That's why I don't speak out because I don't want to get attacked like that. And it's funny because when someone stops speaking out, we'll see what happens to everybody else. It's just yeah, I just I. It's nonsense. Like I'm really sorry that uh, what's her name again? Sorry. The sunflower. No. Um, Jenny. Uh, Jenna. Jenna. I'm really sorry that Jenna went through that. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry that she went through that. It, it absolutely broke my heart, which is probably not even a core of what she felt going through it. Um, there's no need for it. Um, 
I wish I was there because that would have been Arms House, like <laughs> straight up and straight down. Straight away. Like there's straight just away. like, what are you doing? I don't care if I would just, it was in the next carriage. If I'm hearing noise and I'm coming through and I'm seeing that the, the premise of what's taking place is that this black man to entertain his white friends has done this, I'll drag your eyeballs from behind your head. Like hey. it's on, it's on because how dare you? It's not okay. And I don't mind... Um, fulfilling that stereotype of the angry black woman to to show you to to get your eyes to see your to, to see your ears, you fall. It just doesn't make any. It just doesn't make any sense. It was. It it kind of was. I was gonna say beautiful, but like I think you said it already. Just interesting in terms of like then his blackness got revealed back to him yeah, when the yeah, Fed showed up. Yeah. Because he forgot it for a second. Right. And then he and tra- then was like, oh, hold on a minute. And was trying to find a way to justify it. Okay, which black men do I know that don't get attacked? Oh, oh, I'm a footballer. I'm a multimillionaire. Oh, so money and profession is what you try to go with, though you're none of those things, I'm to just, save yourself. Yeah. Because you were panicking, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And that's why you, Curtis Windsor, just like the castle, you're crusty and you are oppressive and you need to go and find your mother wherever she is and suck her dry because that kind of behaviour won't stand. Jenna, like um, Kevin's already said, I'm so sorry that that happens to you, but there are people like us speaking up about it because it can't run. It, can't, it just cannot continue any longer. But um, if people want to follow you, Kevin, where can they find you? Um, just at, um, at Kevin... Morosky. Yeah. Um that's on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow. Do not come with your nonsense though <laughs> and trying to listen. Don't. Cause it's better you just give a location and we can meet and get it on. Like I I am not I am from the nineties with glass Lucas A bottles. Yeah. I'm I don't play. Nope. Let's not do that. Yeah. Um but again, also if you wanna just talk you want to get some things off you want perspective on so, like i'm just i just like i want to i think it's important that all of us meet as many of each other as possible and yeah. support each other and talk and and connect and use each other's platforms and powers to like push Definitely. each other forward Definitely. like that is the only route that is the only goal like yeah. let's just it's just about keeping it popping in that particular way so that's it. So you know where to find Kevin to follow him. So we're just going to do some extra content. So I had a letter come through um, from a lady. We're going to call her D. Um, she was at the shopping centre. Um, she was out shopping with her partner. She's black. He's white. Um, they were out buying groceries. And um, a light-skinned black guy, I think, saw them. And he started pretending to be on the phone and started basically insulting her, calling her all of these names and s- saying that she needs to be burnt alive. So I'm going to be... It's really, really... Really trigger when I was read, reading it. I felt really really bad for her sad for her and angry so I will be covering that shortly in the extra content if you want to um get onto the extra content it's specifically for patrons it's on patreon forward uh, patreon.com forward slash kalechi okafor so you can come and join us there you pledge a monthly amount it, it, as little as three dollars a month and you have access to all of the extra content so we'll be doing that and then pulling an extra card for the tarot um it should be about what 15 20 minutes long so it's extra enjoyment but thank you so much kevin for coming through no and problem. being here with me my name has well my name has been i'm kalechi okafor and this has been sym officially known as say your mind and unofficially known as what what that's right suck your mum. peace it's the Ben's Brunani woman is Baby boys, baby girls, you need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down, receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea, we are go sippy yo Hard time scrolling for your long truants You might learn something you never know Could let you find, and she's one of a kind Don't say you mind, say you mind